Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. You have seen me using tools like LM Studio, Olava and various others where I try to figure out which quantization level of the model should I be using as per my own GPU VRAM. We all know that these GPUs are expensive and we have limited amount of VRAM available. The more VRAM we use, the more better it will be but the reality of life is that it's not easy to get hands on the maximum amount of VRAM because it is very expensive, very limited. For instance, on this system which you can see on your screen, courtesy masked compute, I am using NVIDIA card RTX A6000 and let me quickly show you on this Ubuntu system. So if I just run this command NVIDIA SMI, it is going to show me the NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM as you can see here. Now, not everyone has that much amount of RAM or VRAM. People have normally 16 GB of VRAM or 8 GB of VRAM. And then when you go to tools like LM Studio, and for instance, you want to run this model, Herms to Theta Lama, and you press enter, you see that on the right hand side, you have various quads available. For example, I have this um, Q4KM, around 5 gig, and then there are various levels of this quantization available. So how do you decide which quant will fit on your own GPU or how much VRAM do you need for different levels of this model? And that is valid for almost all other models which you can quantize. This tool which I'm going to show you today, this is simply a very, very nicely written Ruby script which you can run on your local system and it is going to give you the requirements of VRAM you need to have on your system which would enable you to run this specific model. Before I show you that, let's get few of the concepts clear. I have been talking about these quantization levels. So quantization levels, there are a lot of them. Let me again go back to here. For example, you see there we have this Q6K and if I go up, you will see that we have Q4KM and then similarly a lot of other people have done these quants. It's not available here, but we have this one from now Herms. So for example, um, there are Q4KM, Q3KS and a lot of others. These are primarily specific to GGUF format, which is a quantization scheme. Quantization simply means to reduce the accuracy of the model or to reduce the size of the model so that it would fit on your GPU and the more you um, the the lesser number of court you use the more the accuracy will suffer but more it will fit on your VRAM so we have to find that balance where we are not only using a count which is still decent um, representative of the actual model and then we should be using that model in the quantization format as per our own GPU VRAM. Now there are few precisions there. For example, we will be using a word quant or BPW. BPW stands for bits per weight. BPW refers to the number of bits used to represent the weight of a model. So in this script, BPW is used to calculate the VRAM requirement for running a model with different quantization settings and as I mentioned earlier quantization is a technique used to reduce the precision of the weights and activations of a model which can help reduce memory usage or improve performance. The BPW value determines the level of quantization applied to the model. A lower BP value means more aggressive quantization which can result in lower memory usage but may also affect the model's accuracy. So when there is no quantization done, the model is in full precision, which we call 32 BPW or bits per weights. If you cut that precision down to half, which is primarily 16 bit floating point number, we call this half precision. And then after that, quantization comes in. There is a 8 bit quantization available, 4 bit quantization available, 2 bit quantization available. And then we also have something called as ternary quantization and we have done few videos on it so if you're interested you can search it out 
so when we say 8 bit quantization it re represent int 8 4 bit quantization is int 4 and 2 bit is of course binary so you need to be aware of this bpw concept bits per weights in order to understand this quantization <clears throat> now comes to um, the question that what exactly is this quantization level so as i said earlier we have this for example you see there we have this q4 km q means that it's a quantization level 4 means the number of bits used for the quantized values it is bpw value so this model has been represented in 4 bit q5 means it, it has been represented in 5 bit 5 of course will take more memory but will be more accurate than the q4 and then k means that quantization is applied to the kernel weights value and l means that low precision values have been used you will also the see m it means that medium precision values have been used and then we might see few other values like s which means that more low precision so m for medium s for low precision and um, l for large precision so these are various quantization level and now let me take you to the script which is a ruby script so you need to have ruby installed on your local system if you don't know how to install ruby it's very simple you can either if you're on windows you can either find um, something like exe file or for ubuntu which i'm using as you can see here you can simply install it by using this command sudo apt install ruby dash full and it is going to install ruby on your system so let me quickly show you my ruby version and this is my ruby version i already have downloaded that code and i will drop the link to its github repo in video description all you need to do is to copy the whole code from that file which i just showed you and then create a file with rb extension like i have this vram.rb and then you can simply run it on your model and then it is going to give you the required vram let me show you a few example how you can use it now for example you want to know um, how much vram or how much memory do i need to run a model quantized to iq3m for that all you need to do is to run this command which is vram.rp and then model name and then i'm just giving it my quant level which is in this case q3m so let's press enter and you can see that this much vram like over 5.39 gig vram you need to run this model in iq3m now for example you want to know that how much context you can get out of this model context mean it is sort of a sliding window a spotlight or the amount of text a model can put it attention to in one given time so if i run this for example where i'm saying that um, i want to know the context so you can see just close to 2000 tokens it can use as a context at one given time now one important thing you might have noticed that i'm specifying the mode so this basically is a knob which lets you select different things if you select mode a right it is going to tell you vram needed if you select mode b it is going to tell you uh, context and then there is another mode which is called as mode c if you run that that is going to tell you which quant is best for your gpu so for example i'm going to run this i'm telling it that i want to use this model and mode c it means that i want to know which quant is best and i'm telling that this much vram i have 6 gb and i want to use a ggf format model press enter and it is going to tell me that okay q3 kl would be the best uh, for my gpu it means that it will give me decent performance while maintaining a decent amount of accuracy now if you want to know which options are available then simply do rb dash dash help and it gives you a bit more of a help as what these modes mean and then what other options are for example from hugging face if you want to download a model you can also specify access token here if it's a gated model which means that you would need to log into hugging face sign up and then uh, accept the terms and conditions and then if you want you can also use uh, this floating point kv cache and few others which i already have explained 
what is meant by context bits per weight and all that stuff so pretty nifty little tool which you can keep handy and then run it locally to see as per your gpu which quad is good for which model because there are a lot of models and they all have their own different nuances so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching